Hannah, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, I'm super excited because we'll be testing out the new Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette and Love Cheek Duo. I will leave my makeup reviews playlist link to watch previous collection reviews. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get reviewing. Not only will we be testing out this palette, I kind of, sort of, found some similar shades that I want to swatch next to the palette. This mini palette retails for $25, so it breaks down to be $5 per shade, which one super shock shadow from Colourpop is about $5. Essentially, I just wanted to see these drugstore more affordable options swatched next to Natasha. Maybe that they could be a dupe, just because this might not be in everyone's budget right now. It'd be a great Valentine's Day gift though. There's always a demand for dupes and more affordable options. This is what the mini love palette looks like. Two mattes and three shimmers. You are my true love. Felt like I was reading out something from Wheel of Fortune. And this is the palette swatched. Just a quick disclaimer, before y'all roast me in the comments, these are not going to be exact. I know that the Elf and the Wet n Wild ones are gonna be a little bit reaching to be similar to this unique color story, but this was the closest thing I could find in my collection to do this similar style. Up first is an Elf Bite Size Palette. This is very bad. And these are the four shades. And I'm gonna swatch these side by side because I think I can fit all of my comparison shades on my arm. That way you can see the difference between Elf, Wet n Wild, and ColourPop. And that's what the Elf Bite Size Palette added next to it. I have one of the Wet n Wild Color Icon 10 Pan Palettes. These are the shades that I chose from the Wet n Wild Palette. I'm gonna add Wet n Wild under Elf. And this is with Wet n Wild added. And then this is the ColourPop Wine and Only palette. Casa Chateau, Major Chianti, Winter, Blanc, Play to Wine. And that is with ColourPop added. So I don't think we have exact dupes for the Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette. I think some shades came pretty close for this shade right here. I think like across each palette there's like a similar shade for that. And then maybe an inner corner one. But the two matte shades were a lot harder to do. I hope that this little mini swatch party was helpful to see some comparable similar shades. Now to start the look. And I'm going to slab everything in the crease. I'm a little nervous how this shade is going to blend out because it did appear a tad patchy on the swatch. And even just applying it looks a little bit patchy. And for reference, I have the Urban Decay Potion Primer on my eyes. That is definitely a primer that I use consistently when I test out and review new eyeshadow palettes. Yeah, the shade builds up really nice and it is just a little patchy but it's okay, we'll be going in with this shade next to diffuse. Next, we're gonna diffuse the outer edges. I think that looks a lot better. It's like a nice little ombre effect going on.
We're gonna take both of the outer shimmers on the lid. And I'm gonna use my finger for this one. Hopefully you guys can see the beautiful duochrome shift to this shade. Oh yeah, I can see the pink and then like the more yellow shift over here. There is a little bit of fallout with the shimmers. I did not notice any with the mattes. I'm gonna add some eyeliner to my lid and waterline and I don't know what is possessing me to choose hot pink for the lower lash, but I think that would spice up this look. We're gonna go back into the shade to smoke out the lower lash line. And lastly, for the inner corners. Okay, so after using this palette, I really do enjoy it. It's definitely more of a grungier Valentine's Day look. The only thing that I would change in this palette is this pink shimmer right here. It definitely gets lost in the mix. After you apply the multi-chrome, this is absolutely stunning, beautiful, obsessed with it on the lids. Love the shift for sure. But I did apply this in like the first third of my eye and then the duo chrome on the remaining part of my lid and it's definitely lost. Because this palette is very more heavier on like the plum mauve side so maybe a better shimmer to complement that. I was very worried about this shade right here because of how patchy it initially went on but it worked itself out and it definitely looks a lot better diffused with this shade right here and I love the inner corners so much. It is almost the focal point right now. If I didn't have hooded eyes the duochrome definitely would probably be the shining star of this look. Before we dive into the face I'm gonna add some lashes. This is the style kitty from Lashy Box add some mascara and eyeliner to my upper waterline. These are a lot more dramatic lashes than I would want for a Valentine's Day look, but since this is more of a bold, more grungier Valentine's Day look, this definitely calls for dramatic lashes. But if it was more of a softer, sexier, flirtier Valentine's Day look, Cast Cosmetics, Taurus lashes, yes, <laughs> perfect for that. To bronze, I'm gonna take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer.
and this is inside the love cheek duo i'm obsessed with the packaging just wee look at the little hearts go down and back <laughs> my add can't hang gorgeous on the fingers ignore my really 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 dried out hands And this is the face palette swatched. I am so excited for this cream blush and this highlighter has a gorgeous ship to it. For cream blush application, I'm gonna take my Luxie 516 Duo Fiber Brush and I'm gonna be doing tapping motions on my cheek as opposed to swirl. It goes on a lot more natural, but it can be built up. Yes, that is what I like to see. What I have noticed, <laughs> It's because my favorite cream blush, it's by Rare Beauty. It's very intense when you put it on and then blend out. Whereas all the other cream blushes that I've tried, granted I've only used two other formulas, Fenty and now Natasha Denona, and that's what I've noticed that you just gradually build to your liking. Oh, this is a gorgeous shade. I am obsessed. It definitely has more of a pinkier shift to it. I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more corally. And we're just gonna be emphasizing all the texture on the cheeks today. It's okay, not a big deal. What I like about this is that you can definitely make it a lot more natural looking once you like first apply it, but you can also build it up for a more dramatic blush. And I like a more dramatic blush. <laughs> That's how I roll. And now for the highlight. The highlighter provides more of a natural glow. Just like how I like a dramatic blush, I love a dramatic highlighter. If it just could build up a little bit more, I think I'd be a little bit more satisfied with it. And then for lips by Fenty, this is their gloss bomb cream and I'm going to take the shade Mauve Wives. And this is the final look. Overall, I really enjoyed this collection. What stuck out the most to me about this palette is this beautiful duochrome shade. I cannot stop looking at my lids. And it's the smaller pan sizes for her mini palettes retailing at $25 because she also has larger pans in the five pan palettes that retail for $48. So I definitely like that it's more price friendly to be able to try her formula. And then can we talk about how much this cream blush is amazing? <laughs> I am obsessed. The highlighter, it's a lot more subtle on the cheeks. I wish it was beaming like how it is in the pan. I don't know if she has cream blushes by itself. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to look into more shades that she may have. I would love to know, did you guys pick up this collection? How was your experience? What are some of your favorite color combinations from the eyeshadow palette? Let me know in the comments what your Valentine's Day plans are and what are you getting your Valentine for Valentine's Day? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.